I first heard about the new kit Tempest kit from Jim Rosenhall, one of the inventors of the Corsi Rosenhall box. Now we built our own CR box at the end of last year and it's available on House Fresh and we were really impressed by how well it removed particles from the air and how easy it was to build. I managed to build it without any help from anyone else. But the CR box and designs like it do have some potential downsides. So the first one, as you can see, it's a, it's a big device. It's gonna take up a lot of floor space and that not be, might be right for many situations. It's also not very durable. I accidentally sat on it the other day and ended up bending the filters, sorry, Jim. Uh, and another thing is that it can make quite a bit of noise. So at three feet away, we recorded 60.2 decibels. Now, to be clear, I'm still a big advocate of this device. I think there's many situations where this is a, a great option for people and we still push it as part of our best air purifiers for 2024. But the community as a whole has been aware of its downsides. I've been looking at new ways, new designs that can help alleviate this. And one of these big designs is through the use of PC fans. Now, PC fans are the fans that you use to cool the components inside a, a gaming PC. Uh, and they have the benefit of being really efficient and, and more importantly for air purifiers, really quiet. There was a design by Zach Dice who built his own version that looked very similar to this using aluminum sheets, PC fans and HVAC filters. And it was a really good DIY air purifier that was durable and quiet, but it had the downside that it required you to fabricate the metal yourself. And Whilst there's a smaller number of people who will do a DIY air purifier, there's an even smaller number who have access to fabrication. Now, Zach was really kind to donate his design to its Cyber Night Markets, who built upon his original design to develop the new kit Tempest DIY air purifier kit. And this is the device that we're gonna be reviewing here today. We were keen to test this device in the same room that we test all of our air purifiers, looking at air cleaning performance, sound level generation, and energy usage. And we've already looked at and tested and evaluated 72 different air purifiers, so I was excited to compare this DIY device with the devices that you buy on Amazon or Walmart or wherever you buy your air purifier. Now be aware that this is just a kit that you initially buy. So I paid 146 pounds from Cyber Night Markets and that gets me the frame, uh, some of the guards for the filters, uh, but you still need to buy some other parts. So you have to buy six PC fans. There's some recommendations next of which ones to get. We went with the Arctic P14s. You also can get uh, fan guards themselves and the power supply. Uh, I paid around 60 pounds for these extra parts. Uh, and then for the HVAC filters themselves, you will need to get them. They're the 20 by 20 by two inch HVAC filters that are MERV 13. I paid too much for ours because I'm based in the UK. Filters are not that easy to get hold of. Um, but I did look at these particular filters that we're using in this device. For two of them is $45 on amazon.com. So all in all, you're looking at a total cost of all the parts that you need to get this device going around $300. And that can vary, obviously, the type of fans that you choose, what kind of availability of HVAC fans you've got in your area, but that's just as a rough number, you are gonna be paying another at least $120. Whenever we're reviewing a device for House Fresh, we always like to check with the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if a KDAR test exists. Now, as this device is DIY, it's totally understandable that one doesn't exist. Uh, it's a very expensive process and it would be tricky for a DIY because I don't think they would be open to building it and testing it in that same way. But we're lucky that the COVID aware community has a number of people who've done some really great work testing these devices themselves and giving estimates of KDAR that we can, we can take on and use to help us. The first person, Ventilo Angel, they're from France and they've tested a loads of DIY kits and they have some great work and I will be sure to drop their account in the comments and check out their data themselves. Now they gave an estimate of using this, this particular device with the P14 fans. They had a PM 2.5 of 247 CFM. Uh, and David Elstrom, a scientist in the community, again, does some amazing work, really helpful to loads of people and yeah, uh, can't sing his praises too much. He provided a, a different, uh, some different KDAR ranges from 300 to 210, depending on particle size. So looking at our test data with all the devices that we've tested and with those that do have a, a KDAR score from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, I'm estimating that this device is gonna remove all PM1 pollutants in between 27 and 34 minutes. But we're gonna to get to the performance of tests later so we can, you can see for yourself. While the DIY Corsi box is never gonna win any beauty awards, I have to say that the new kit Tempest is a good looking device. Now I might be biased because I'm an avid PC gamer, but to me, it just looks like a high-end gaming PC tower. 
And I think that has a ton of benefits. Most people are gonna walk past it and assume it's a gaming PC. They're not gonna touch it, they're not gonna mess with it. Uh, and it's just gonna be, but it's also not gonna take over the room. No one's gonna be wondering what's that device doing. I also was pleased to see that they're also working on a way to mount this on the wall because this is so light. Uh, I can just show you straight away, just lifting it here. This would be perfect if there's a way to mount this on the wall and out of anyone kind of touching it, that would be even better. Um, but overall, I'm a big fan of the design. It's really durable. The steel case just works. Um, and I think they've really managed to do a really good thing with this. When I first bought this device, I bought the complex fan guards, but I felt that they restricted airflow too much and I thought it'd be unfair to test it with that. Now, based on my experience, I would suggest that the best fan guards are just really just the basic ones that just have a, a wire on each side. They're really not to protect your fingers as much as to protect the fans themselves. And if you put anything in there, the fan's gonna break before, before anything else. Um, but yeah, just my experience is just get the basic. I think that would probably be absolutely fine. It's not gonna restrict airflow in any meaningful way. As this is a DIY advice, you get to choose the filters that you put in the device. Now they're all HVAC filters of 20 by 20 by two inches, and it's always recommend to go for at least MERV 13. Now we went with the filters from FilterBuy just because we didn't really have much choice, but if you live in a place where there's multiple options, there may be other filters that are more effective. Just have a look at the data, filters get tested all the time, and so you can choose the filters that work for you. And, and as all, but more importantly, find the ones that are not gonna cost you too much too. As this device proves and as this course proves, you don't need HEPA grade filters for an effective air purifier. Now there's a great thread that I'm gonna drop in the comments from David Elfstrom explaining this in detail. And there's also a great video on here uh, talking about this in massive amounts of detail that HEPA is basically used as a marketing trick to make consumers think that they need this certain grade of filter when in reality, as this box shows and this DIY shows, non-grade HEPA can be really effective at removing particles from the air. In many cases, it can actually be more effective than if you chose to use HEPA grade filters because the airflow would be restricted so much. Let's jump into the exciting part, the air cleaning performance test. Now for the new kit Tempest, we're testing it in the same room that we've tested currently 74 different air purifiers. By testing each device in the same room, doing the same job of removing incense smoke, we can quickly compare performance across devices and across units, across brands very, very easily. Now this year we've added an additional Purple Air Zen sensor and we've also recorded the test so you can follow along. In the test, the new kit Tempest managed to clear our test room of all PM1 pollutants in just 31 minutes. Now, based on the other estimated KDARs from others on X and Twitter, I have to agree with Joey Fox that this device is good enough for rooms up to 432 square feet. Now, things get interesting when we compare this performance to other devices, non-DIY devices that we've tested. If we look at the Allen Flex, it managed to clean our test room in 34 minutes at a cost of $349. The Miele, 35 minutes at $399. The Smart Air SA600, 33 minutes with $279. The Austin Air Healthmate, which to be fair to has a large carbon filter, but took 37 minutes at $715. Now, raw performance to dollar spend looks less good with some of the best devices we've tested. So for example, the Levoit Vital 200S cleaned our test room in 18 minutes. The WinX 5502 took 20 minutes and the Titronics AP003 took 26 minutes. But it's worth noting that many of these high performing devices are running at much higher fan speeds, which generates much more noise. So it's not really a fair comparison test, which brings us neatly to our next test, the sound test. We test every air purifier in the same room at three feet away with a sound meter. This enables us to see how much sound is generated at each fan speed. Now the new kit Tempest only has one fan speed and the results were really impressive. It only hit 41.8 decibels at three feet away. Now, this is really incredible because normally if you wanted good air cleaning performance, you'd have to go with a premium brand like Allen, but even then the Allen Flex still hits 50.7 decibels, so still much further away from the 41.8 decibels that we saw with the new kit Tempest. It's one of the reasons why we often recommend to people to buy larger devices to run it at lower fan speeds because in most cases, most use cases, the highest fan speed is just much too loud to work, sleep, or do really anything meaningful next to it. Now, many of the devices that we've tested that we compared to previously 
hit 50 to 60 decibels at the highest fan speed. So as an example, the Allen Flex, which we mentioned before, 50.7 decibels. The Miele, which we tested at its highest fan speed, 59.2 decibels. The Smart S S SA600 was 52.5 decibels. And the beast of a, of a unit, the Austin Air Healthmate, when we tested at highest fan speed was 61.5 decibels. So considering this is running at 41.8 decibels, to achieve PM10 in just 31 minutes is really, really impressive for this device. Now, a more interesting comparison is to look at some of the best devices we've tested. So the devices like the Levoit Vital 200S, but it's not fair to compare them running at their highest fan speed, which is a much louder situation and is unlikely how you would use this device. So as part of this review, I decided to test some of the best units we've identified from the 74 units we've tested and also align them with the sound levels of the new kit Tempest. So looking at the sound levels that each unit generates, what speed compares well with the new kit Tempest? So looking at the Levoit Vital 200S, at speed two, it hits 42.5 decibels, which is a little higher than the new kit Tempest, but still a good comparison. So when we tested that device running at speed two, it cleaned our test room in 40 minutes. Now the premium Air Doctor 3000, we found that speed one was 40.2 decibels, which is a little lower than the new kit Tempest, and the results were 43 minutes. The WinX 5302, a device that's been out decades at this point, uh, at speed two, we tested it without the use of the ionizer, and the sound level was 42.5 decibels, and it cleaned our room in 43 minutes. And the Titronics AP03, which was the best budget device that we've been recommending, and it's the one that basically came as close to the, the level of uh, ratio of performance to sound level, still, even at speed two, which was 42.8, so more than the new kit Tempest, but only slightly, still took 39 minutes to clean our test room of all PM1 pollutants. So comparing these devices running at a similar sound level at different fan speeds, it really shows how impressive the new kit Tempest device is. Because at 41.8 decibels, it cleared our test room of PM1 pollutants in just 31 minutes. Now, to be fair to the other devices we've tested, many of them use carbon filters, which will reduce particle performance, but still, it is very impressive that a Gen 1 device, the new kit Tempest, this is the first device that they've released, Fine, it's DIY and there's some issues which we'll talk about that in a moment, but this is the first version of this device and yet it still managed to outperform some of the best devices on the market. And many of these devices have been out for decades. There's been multiple iterations. And yet this device, this Gen 1 device has managed to kind of just wipe the floor with them. It's good to see that when we normalize out sound levels, the new kit Tempest is the best air purifier we have tested. And that's comparing to 74 different air purifiers with some of the best devices on the market. Now, to be fair, many of the other devices have additional features that you won't get with this device and they use carbon filters. So it's not a, a fair light for light comparison, but still the, the fact that you can remove these particles, uh, the tiniest particles in the air, at such a low sound level is super, super impressive. Now this brings us to our next test, which is the energy level test. As part of the reviews we do here at House Fresh, we see how much energy is used at each fan speed. Now, as we said before, the Nukit Tempest only has one fan speed, and at that speed, it pulled 8.8 .8 watts. Now this is really low, so imagine if you were to use this device 24 seven for an entire year, it would only add $9.25 to your electricity bill, which, is really, really low for having clean air in your room. Now, this compares really favorably to some of the more premium devices on the market. So for example, the Allen Flex, which took uh, 34 minutes to clean our test room, uses 24.2 watts, which adds an additional $25. The Miele, 38, which adds another $40. The Levoit Core 300, the small device that's very popular, 35.5 watts, which add additional $37. And the Austin Air Healthmate, which is an absolute beast, uh, adds an additional $155. So these are some, not the worst devices we've tested by any stretch, but certainly not the most efficient devices on the market. And the Nukit Tempest absolutely destroys them from an, from an energy point of view. To make a fairer comparison, I wanted to test the Nukit Tempest to some of the best devices we've had, but at their lower fan speeds. So they have similar levels of sound generation. So it, 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 the level of energy is not as massive difference. So the Levoit Vital 200S at speed two uses 8.01 watts, but still cleaned our room slower at 40 minutes. The Air Doctor 3000, 9.6 watts, uh, but to clean the room in 43 minutes. The Winx 5302 with no ionizer, 6.7 watts, but 43 minutes. And the Titronix AP003 at speed two, 
was 10.5 watts at 39 minutes. So I'm not saying that using this device is gonna save you excessive amounts of money like it is like you compare with the, with the other devices. Uh, there still is a lower energy usage, um, but the fact that this uses 8.8 .8 watts yet still manages to beat all of the best devices we've tested is still an impressive feat. As with any air purifier that use filtration technology, the filters will need replacing eventually. Now it's recommended that you replace the filters for this device every 12 months, but as always, I recommend people visibly inspect the filter to make sure it's fully dirty before replacing it. Now, you have a choice with these DIY units to choose the filters that you want to use. Now these filters are available for around $45 a year, so that's an additional $45 onto your running costs for this device. And considering it uses so little energy, that brings the running costs for one year to $49.25. Similar to sound, this compares really favorably with many other devices we have tested. For example, the Allen Flex, you have to buy a full set of filters for $69, which brings the total running cost to $94. The Miele, you have to buy two sets of filters for a year, so it's $138, which brings running costs to $178 a year. Even the small Lavoie Core 300, you need two sets of filters, which equates to $59.98, which means a running cost of $96. And the Austin Healthmate, with its big massive filters, but only need replacing every five years, you've still got an annual running cost of $212. The fact that you can run this device for less than $50 is really impressive. Another benefit of a DIY device is you're not restricted by sticking to manufacturer filters. If a company goes bust, then it's likely those filters will be become harder and harder to find. Whereas with a device like this, you will only lose out on filters when you can't buy HVAC filters, which is unlikely to ever happen. And you also don't need to stick to a particular brand of HVAC filter. I've chosen these ones, but you can choose any, as long as it's 20 by 20 by two inches and a MERV 13 grade, which gives us lots of opportunity to know that we can get filters five years, 10 years, even 50 years into the future. Another benefit of a DIY device is that the parts themselves are designed to be replaced. With a standard air purifier, if you have an issue with the fan or any sort of bearings, then you're most likely gonna to have to throw the whole thing away, which generates tons of e-waste. Whereas a device like the New Kit Tempest, if one fan goes, you can just replace it. Filters are designed to be replaceable and can be replaced with different models from different companies. So it's far likely with a device like this, you're gonna have far less e-waste. So what do we think of this device, the New Kit Tempest? Well, for those who are willing to tinker or know someone who's good at building PCs, this is the best air purifier we have tested. Whilst it's not as easy to build as the CR box, in exchange you get a super durable unit that is quiet as many of the best air purifiers in the market at speed two, but this has better air cleaning performance. Making a maximum sound at three feet away of 41.8 decibels, this really blows away even the best air purifiers we've tested at removing particles from the air at low levels of sound. The fact that it also can be rebuilt yourself, so all of the parts themselves can be replaced. Uh, the filters don't lock you in to a particular manufacturer. You'll always be able to buy filters as long as HVAC filters are being made, which is gonna last you more than our lifetime, right? And it's just really gonna help to reduce the amount of e-waste that happens. We buy many air purifiers as part of our testing and some of the devices don't even last long enough to be tested and have to just be thrown away. They have devices, fans that can't be replaced. So if that fan goes, that's it. Another unit goes off to the tip. And I wish and I hope that more people will get behind projects like this because it is gonna reduce e-waste dramatically. Because the only things that you're gonna be thrown away with these devices are the filters when they're full of dirt and need to be replaced. Everything else can be changed. You can even have options. If you can't find the fans in your region, then you can use different fans. Uh, you can even have customizations in regards to fans. Maybe you wanna go for fans that are gonna last longer long term or ones that are quieter. Everything is, is, is exchangeable with this. To be fair, this is a very new consumer device. So there is some bits that I would like to improve, but I expect that NuKit in the future is gonna make some improvements, whether it's adding uh, power supplies that come with the device, or even just improving how easy it is to make. And I'm sure those improvements are gonna happen, but it won't happen 
if more of you don't get behind this kit. So if you're good at building stuff like this and you, you, you want an air purifier that is better than the, the air, best air purifiers in the market, then please get behind this project, put the effort in. Yes, it's gonna take you a few hours to build. It's not a plug and play device that's just gonna start cleaning the air for you. But in exchange, you are gonna get a device that's gonna last your lifetime but more importantly, it has such a great ratio of particle removal to sound level generation that I believe you're getting access to a technology that's going to be mainstream in the next couple of years with the air purifier manufacturers. But I'm, I'm expecting they're not going to change things straight away. The current system works for them. And, but if more of us get behind these devices, I think it's going to make the world a better place. There's going to be less uh, e-waste. And, and more importantly, there's gonna be more clean air without the massive sound that you get with some of the, the more traditional devices you buy from big box stores. So I hope that this video will help get the word out about this device. I'm a big fan of it. I've, there's more of these DIY PC fans that we're gonna test. The Luggable from Clean Air Kits, the Air Fanta 3 Pro from Adam Wong, and the Northbox 6XL from Northbox Systems to test to see how, how, how they compare to the new kit Tempest. But for those looking for the, the durable device, the device that's gonna last them forever, I, I don't know if there's any other on the market quite like this. Now, if you don't want to spend the money that's, in, uh, that, that's involved with building a case like this, then there is even access to the, the plan, so you can build it, if you have a laser cutter, you can build it out of wood, uh, which is absolutely free. I'll make sure to drop that in the comments. So you can build the same design uh, obviously you need a laser cutter or, or, or you know, a specialist tools, but for those people, that is a great option as well. And I think that's, that's the point with these, with these designs. They're really making air purifiers to be more of a standardized thing that is not one particular brand or one particular unit. And I think that's only gonna be better for all of us uh, in the future to make clean air something that we all should have, not, not something just for those who can afford very expensive air purifiers. Now, as always, let me know in the comments what you found about this review, if there's things you want us to test in the future, because we're gonna do more reviews of this, trying out new fans, different designs, stuff like that, interesting things. And if you're gonna build this device, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and know how you get on. Uh, maybe you find it a lot easier than me, so do take that into account. I'm not the best at building it, but Rodrigo, shout out to him. He helped me build this device. He did a great job of it. And I'm excited to use this device in my home. Like having an air purifier that I can just leave on without having to worry about the sound level generation is incredible. So I, I and I'll be recommending them to, to lots more people. I'll be including it in our best air purifier list at some point when we do the update. So anyway, thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.